Hey everyone, it's Kelly the Frugal Fun Mum. Welcome to the channel and to today's video where we're doing another weekly grocery haul and meals. Last week I did this and it seemed pretty popular that people were interested in what we actually buy through the week and then how it works for our family going into either a meal or stockpiling, how much food shopping is actually costing us. We have this separate to what our meals actually cost us. So in the end, it all balances out. Last week we'd spent well over $200 and this week is just over a hundred dollars so as you can see with any family our grocery bill ebbs and flows so that's what i wanted to share with you the prices and the totals will be in the bottom right hand corner so you can follow along with me all right so to start with on saturday and i forgot to put this in last week's haul we picked up some milk and some iced coffee and some chocolate milk i'm adding that into this haul I forgot about the multigrain bread that I bought for hubby and then I also got this strawberries marked down as well. So I'm adding that all here for you guys for you to see. The next day was Sunday and we actually went to my mum's house for dinner which was very lucky because it meant a good meal for us and we got time to play with her dogs and spend some time down there so that was good. Monday rolled around and I actually didn't get any time to do any markdown shopping, busy busy but I really wanted to get home and do some food prep so I have all of this chicken that I started prepping up and a full video will be coming soon of all the meals and what I made so Monday night we had these Singapore noodles for dinner and then on Tuesday night or Tuesday I didn't actually do any markdown shopping again I just had too much on and thought just want to focus with the food that's in the house and then we had this chicken casserole for dinner Tuesday night we went to governing council so I made some brownies to take and here's kind of the leftover bits for the family to have. <laughs> I will make them some more later. Wednesday is here and I did a full shop at Audi so you can check out that video with the total and what it cost and how things worked. Half went into stockpile, half went into kind of rotation and the meats and stuff have gone into the freezer to be held over for like a what's for dinner meal planning thing down the track. Yeah, I couldn't get everything I wanted. So yeah, that's life. So Wednesday night is here and we are having some more of that chicken. <laughs> that I got early in the week and I'm just coating it and then I fried that in the oven and then had some veggies with it again that will be coming up in the chicken meal planning dinner too and my son's just had chicken nuggets but he's also had the mashed potato and the veg so that's exciting he's starting to expand his palate so it's a good meal for him he didn't really enjoy the chicken pieces because we've had them before so that's all good at least he tried. All right, it's Thursday and we've done our markdown shopping. You'll be able to see that haul on the channel. So I've added all the prices so you can see how we're tracking with that. So I think we're going pretty good so far. And then Thursday night, by the time I got home <laughs> doing all of this, it was time for an easy dinner. So we're having chicken parmesanas again because I can get them out of the freezer and I wanted to save the things that we got today for some other meals. And we've used that, plus I wanted space in the freezer, so that was the reason why we've had that. Plus, I just really want to drive home to you guys that pineapple does go on parmesanas. <laughs> Friday is here, and I went into Coles just to have a little look, and I found these cupcakes, so I thought, hey, let's grab them for a cheeky little dessert. Why not? And then for dinner Friday night, I've just grabbed these pizza bases out of the freezer because they didn't have any fresh ones because I wanted to use up the pineapple leftover from the parmigianas and we already had cheese and the ham and leftover chicken as well. So that's making sure we're using everything up. Saturday night, well, Saturday, I didn't actually do any shopping. I just went straight home because we had quite a few things to do here. And then Saturday night, I ended up at my mom's house again for dinner because we needed to help them with some things. So that was so good to get a meal there. And we got a dessert down there as well. So woo, woo, we've had a very quick week this week. So it's exciting. But as you can see, we haven't spent a lot for the week but we've had some really good meals still. Thanks so much for joining with me, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.